What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'd like to wish you all a happy Friday and you know what that means. The story time with Stock Market Steve live stream starts tonight at 7 o'clock. Yes, it's going on as usual. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody there. But uh, let me jump into this story. This is an update to another story. I've been doing a lot of updates this week. But this story right here, I had to come back to it and see what's going on. Guys, listen. Remember the story I did earlier this week about the lady that was going into the uh, Catholic Church out there in Jamaica, Queens? Shout out Jamaica, Queens. When some coward walked up on her and uh, pushed her down the steps and robbed her while she laid there writhing in pain. Well, they supposedly arrested the guy. And you'll never believe it. He's nothing but a 16-year-old kid. Check out the story. Teenager is now under arrest. Kids are pushing a woman down the stairs outside of a Queens church. The victim is now recovering in the ICU. CBS News' Natalie Dudridge live outside the 107th precinct in Fresh Meadows with more. Natalie. Good morning, Chris Mary. Well, I had a chance to speak to the victim's nephew earlier this week, and he said that she suffered a fractured skull, a black eye, but is finally showing signs of improving, is now recognizing her family. So he says that's very hopeful. Now, this all happened on Sunday morning, and as you mentioned, the police now made arrest a 16-year-old boy. Uh, they believe this is the person in this video showing the 68-year-old woman walking up the stairs to a church entrance. The suspect then runs up the stairs in front of her. Police say he pushed her, causing her to fall backwards down the stairs onto the sidewalk. This all happened uh, outside of the St. Demetrius Church on 152nd Street. Authorities say the suspect grabbed the woman's bag, checked her pockets, uh, and then took off with $300, her cell phone, a credit card, and keys in her bag. And also, that suspect stole the victim's vehicle because the keys in her bag were her car keys. He then drove off, and in a statement, the victim's nephew said, says he trusts uh, that the district attorney, as well as the NYPD, will give this case the attention it deserves. Now, again, we are outside the police precinct here. Last night, uh, police arrested and charged this 16-year-old boy, and those charges include robbery, assault, as well as grand larceny, but they cannot release his name as of now because he is a juvenile. We're in Queens. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. All right, guys. This uh, story here. Like I did, like I said before, it was a vicious crime, a heinous crime. I think he should be charged as an adult, honestly. And I think something should have to happen to his parents, too, and I'm going to tell you why. Seems like nowadays, children like uh, parental supervision, parental guidance, and this type of miscreant behavior happens when they don't have no fear or respect for anybody in the house that's above them, that raises them. Whether it's a single mother or it's a household that's in turmoil, somebody needs to pay for having this monster out in the street. They do. Here's another thing. You're starting to see, we, 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 right now, we're raising a bunch of people, a new type of human being that's vicious, selfish, and uncaring. This guy attacked a 68-year-old woman. You know she old, oh, you seen her. Watch her get out the car. <laughs> Let me get her right before she get up the steps. She'll never see this coming. Pushes her down the steps. Now at the end of the video, this video, I'm going to show you the unedited footage of this lady falling down the steps because they keep stopping it before she hits the ground. I want you to see how much force this woman, the back of this woman's head was when it bounced off that ground. She's lucky to be alive at 68 years old because some coward ass kid that can't wait to grow up and, and, and is greedy and selfish took advantage of her. Now, I think, like I said, this should be treated as a hate crime. I do. This woman was targeted and it was uncalled for. He's charged. Look at this. They won't release his name or show his fucking face because he's a kid. But he's charged with robbery, assault, grand larceny, and criminal possession of stolen property. That's how they caught him because he had her stuff. He has three prior arrests in Queens, New York. 
It's a pattern. It's a pattern for me. Here's another thing that, 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 that sets me off with this. How can we not get an attempted murder? They said this woman right now, as we speak, is just starting to get her memory back. And guys, when I show you this video, she hit her head hard. It's bad, man. Just the way she laid there. And then on top of this, look at this un how uncaring this son of a bitch was. And vicious. She sat there, and when she fell, he patted her pockets. Nonchalantly, not in a rush or anything. And he stepped over like she was common trash in the street. This woman going in church to attend an Easter event. Already 68 years old. At that age, you could go at any time, regardless of how your help is. And she's still try going to church and doing what she was raised to do. Have faith and all this other stuff. And you never know what people are going through. What made her get up and go to church that day? What she was going through? And here comes some dude out of his own greed, not caring about nothing. And not looking at her as a person, but looking at her as something that's, that's not important. And doing that to her. You attacked a woman while she was going into the house of God. Think about that. That say a lot about the mindset of people nowadays. Selfishness is king and greed is the new God. And I'm telling you, people like this, 16 years old, you know the difference between right and wrong. You know you're not supposed to put your hands on somebody and you're supposed to respect your elders. But then again, nowadays, they don't teach that no more. Something he either heard or saw by example in his own house or those around him connected to people in his own house got him the way he is right now. You agree or disagree? This is sinful. These laws we got, people are not scared of jail no more. He hit this woman and anybody could have came out there and saw him. Luckily, they had the camera up there. And I keep telling you guys, get you ring cameras both in your house and outside your house. Because there's always people out here ready to take advantage of you if the opportunity presents itself. We are dealing with a new type of mindset in human beings where they don't act instinctively no more, you know, as far as from a common sense standpoint or wanting to see the betterment of themselves and their fellow man. They only deal with the basic instincts like an animal. And I believe a lot of them should need to be put down. We will not see it quell and violence because this has been going on, on too long. It's a cycle. We got a lot of people out here that are vicious. That woman hit her head. We don't know if she bust the back of her head open or not. We don't know. But he left her for dead. And that's only the charge he got. If that was my mother or grandmother, I would be livid. I would be livid. This man could have killed her. This boy. Sickening. She's making a recovery. And let's, let's pray she's all right because she didn't deserve that. Nobody would deserve that. You're minding your business. Here comes some piece of shit down the street going to make his problems your problems and give you a fucked up day. And all you're trying to do is go in there and praise and worship. See, we need to look at these crimes for what they are. These are people that don't care about other people. You understand what I'm saying? Either you in life, you either building something, whether it's for yourself or somebody else, or you destroying something. And he could have ended her right there with his selfishness. Unacceptable. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You stole a bunch of nothing and then kept it and got caught with it. That alone will let you see the flowers. Fuck 16. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.